Welcome to my channel. Born for Engineering. In this video we are going to discuss about fractional distillation. In figure fractional distillation setup is shown. It consists of burner under a stand. Burner acts as source of energy. Upon the stand there will be a distillation flask which contains mixture of low volatile and high volatile gases. At the top of distillation flask, a fractionating column is inserted, and it tightened by using cork, so use of cork is to prevent the leaking of gases, a supporting rod used to support the fractionating column. At the top of fractionating column, a thermometer, is inserted to measure the temperature. Again the thermometer is tightened by cork at the top of fractionating column. This time the cork is helpful for measuring accurate temperature and to prevent leaking of gases. A condenser is attached to fractionating column. The function of condenser is to cool the gases and convert them into liquid. By passing water around it. The condensed liquid from the condenser is taken into beaker. So let's say about working a fractional distillation. A mixture of liquids is taken in distillation flask. Let the mixture of acetone and benzene is taken. Acetone has boiling point of 56 degrees Celsius. And benzene boiling point of has 80 degrees Celsius. By taking heat from the burner, the mixture of liquids gets evaporate. When the temperature is in the above the boiling point of acetone, and below the boiling point of benzene, that is in between 56 degrees Celsius and 80 degrees Celsius. So, acetone will only be in gaseous state, and benzene will be in liquid state. Benzene falls back to distillation flask due to high density. Acetone is passed through condenser. Finally acetone is cooled by condenser. So, acetone is taken in beaker. Subscribe and share for more videos.